You want to see that? It's that God force. See how it's illuminating? It's crazy. Did y'all see the start time? It's pretty slow. Y'all see for yourself. YouTube, it's your man DJ A1, aka A1 Made the Beat. I'm in the building here with my Akai Force. As my journeys have been taking me through this uh, Akai Force journey, <laughs> um, been learning a lot about it. I want to share my knowledge as I get it with you. So, one of the very first things I wanted to do when I first got it was make a drum track. Uh, make a drum kit and a drum track. I'm an NPC guy, so I'm thinking about my drums. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna go ahead and make a drum kit and program some drums with y'all today, okay? It's real simple. We got a blank slate right now. Right now, the way it's, it's set up, the way when it comes, when you open it after you get past the demos, you're gonna come to this screen right here. You're gonna have two screens, I mean two uh, chains, one for plugins, one for audio, okay? We wanna create a drum track. But I don't like those, so I like to go ahead and get rid of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press delete. Get rid of that. I got one left. Delete. And press that track to get rid of it. Okay? Then I go. I add. Drums. Boom. And now that activates that chain. We're going to keep it orange. You can change the color to it. I'll show you how to do that. You just tap it. And you can change the color. All right? I know that I'm going to be assigning colors to my pads, so I already know it. So I know I like my kicks to be red, I like my kicks to be red. I usually put one there, one there, one here. I like my snares to be orange, okay, I'll put one there. Hi-hats, going to be green. Um, we'll put that another shade of green for our crash, okay? So we didn't do that, and then we do a little bit of percussion, blue. And we're going to do that for the 808. I just put my 808 right there, all right? That's how I like my pads usually set up configuration-wise, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go matrix. So what you do here to change that, this look right here to where you see the squares, you ready for this? Shift config. Shift note config. Now I got my pads color coordinated, ready for me to add some drums to them. So let's go load. I like my own drums. I don't. No matter how hot the drums are, MSX, I, I fuck with them. Excuse me. I mess with them. <laughs> I like their drums. Um, but I like my to build my own kits. So I go to places, my hard drive that I, I format it. All right. Drums. So um, we're going to keep it simple today. We're actually just going to go into some kits. Okay. Let's go. Let's go beach butcher. Kick. Let's find a good kick. So y'all can hear it. Basic. I might use that right there actually. I like that kick a lot. So I pushed the button that I wanted on. Now it's there. That's a good kick too. Put that right there. See that? We're building a good kit right now. Actually, I'm gonna go back up here. Cause I like that one right there. So the one thing I with it, I have not learned how to do 16 level yet, like on the NPC. I'm sure there's a way to do it, I just haven't figured it out yet. But it's coming. All right, I think I'm good. 
Yeah. All right, so remember what I said that we'll figure out how to mute these? So what I did was I pressed shift clip, shift and clip. I went to Q edit mode. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on the same mute group. Okay. Mute group one, mute group one, mute group one, mute group one. Now I'm going to turn that down. That one's hella loud. I don't need it that loud. Could do some, do some cleaning, fine tuning, some cleaning right now. So if you look, it's the same NPC menu. Okay, it's just how you get to it is different. Yeah, that's good. All right. So, I think right now we're good. We haven't really did anything too too crazy right now. But that's your first drum kit right there. Boom. Easy. Let's set the tempo. Top right corner. And there's another way to get to it. I'm going to put this on screen. All right. There we go. So now I got my knobs active. Okay. So what I want to do is we want to create a drum track. So now we're going to take this off a of note. We're going to put this on launch. I got to activate the track. That right here. All right. So the clip. Press clip. You can add another clip. Or you can just press the clip button. Okay. It's already set for four bars. You see what that says? That says drum track. There we go. That says drum track one, clip two. Okay. So we can create that. You don't have to do it that way, but now you have your grid already set up. Okay. I like to see what I'm recording, so. So that's it. That's how you make a drum track, a drum kit, and then a drum track on the force. Next time, we'll throw in a melody, all right? All right, I'll let y'all later. Peace.